Hello guys, today we're talking about Marvel is on the decline. We all know it is, okay? Marvel will be on the decline. We'll probably be on the decline after Endgame. But Miss Marvel is the lowest viewed Marvel movie of all time. Miss Marvel debuted on Disney Plus as the highest rated TV show from Marvel Studios to date, despite that the series failed to connect the viewers and the credit the same way it did. Okay, this is the problem. Disney and Marvel is releasing too many TV shows. Okay. Okay, they released the hot they released like five TV shows right today. They released Loki, WandaVision, What If, Moon Knight. Oh yeah, Moon Knight was this year, but they released Moon Knight, they released uh, Hawkeye. You know, they released so many TV shows. Okay? So many TV shows. As well. Also, Strange of Fans came out, which is a very overrated TV show. New Star Wars show, which was also trash bond. There was also, of course, The Boys. Okay. Miss Marvel also was completely. There's also Prehistoric Planet that came out as well. In May as well. So. Again, Prehistoric Planet, that's more of a niece. Because it's a documentary. But. The, I actually watched. Uh, the Miss Marvel show on the same site that I watched. You know, those other stuff. But. You know, Miss Marvel was an okay. So. I actually apologize for saying that she's the worst Marvel character of all time. Because I said she was like one of the worst Marvel characters of all time. Okay. She is nowhere near as the, any of the actually good Marvel characters. But she is in the middle. She is not, you know, Mantis TL, Hawkeye TL, uh, Siri TL. Well, she's like among the worst characters. Captain Marvel TL as well because of Brie Larson. Okay. And... <clears throat> it could be that Disney boycott's finally taking effect. You know, people are sick of Disney. People are sick of streaming Disney Plus. People are sick of you know, of modern Marvel. People are sick of people are probably getting done with Marvel. Okay, and this is also this will also released after Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. And yeah. Miss Marvel isn't the worst character. And again, I don't read comics, okay? I wish people would realize this. I do not read comic books, okay? Comic books, I do not read. I do not pay attention to the comic book industry either. I don't read comics. All I know of characters is from the movies, TV shows, okay? So, what I know of Batman is what I know from The Dark Knight. What I know from The Batman. What I know from Justice League. Okay, not from the comics. I don't read the comics, okay? I don't read comic books. I don't. I never did. I never will, probably. I don't like reading books, basically, at all. But, and also, you know, they were probably hoping that Miss Bob would be like Guardians of the Galaxy. They were probably hoping, oh, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy was obscure. No, Guardians of the Galaxy wasn't that popular until the movie came out, okay? Iron Man was like a C-tier superhero in terms of popularity. And now he's popular. Okay, and yeah, DC... You know, they both just use the most popular heroes. They don't really try to extend to the least popular characters. But can they do? They are trying. Marvel has been trying to make rest of the old characters more popular. It has worked and it has failed. Okay, they have tried to make you know they made Guardians of the Galaxy popular. They made Iron Man popular. They made the Four series popular. Black Panther as well was a lesser known character because everybody knows. Oh yeah, Marvel does Hulk and Spider Man. That's how everybody knew. That's what the normies knew. Basically, Captain America had some popularity in America. But, and he has the comments here, no one really likes the characters, no matter how many times to try to tie so the, her down your votes as well. And yes, he's not a household name, so familiar with that, be a big draw as well, as well. But again, I think the reason why this show isn't doing too well is because of the lack of, yeah, okay, Loki was the most viewed, uh, oh yeah, Falcon Soldier with the Soldier, WandaVision. Hawkeye, which surprised it's so, not surprised so well. Hawkeye is the least exciting Avenger. Hawkeye is never in here with a long existing MCU character or has a famous asset in it, so of course, it's a very low, it's just popularity will rise as well. As well. And. And there were, and I thought Miss Marvel, the first, I thought the first episode was okay. I don't think, I didn't think it was horrible. Okay, I didn't think the first episode of Miss Marvel was horrible. Some people said it was horrible. I thought it was like okay as well. Again, mostly it was that the Marvel TV shows are not too great, so I'd probably not go watch any of the other Marvel TV shows. 
If I could, I probably would have watched Falcon and Winter Soldier if I was going to watch another Marvel TV So If I really, really wanted to. Because that one, that one sounded interesting. And what if? As well. But, again, I think that, you know, making a show based off a character that nobody knows is really, you know, a gamble. Because, if, especially if it's, you know, for example, the Guardians of the Galaxy, they were, it was, they, people thought the Guardians of the Galaxy was going to flop. Okay, people said that, oh yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy, nobody knew who they are, it's gonna flop. Okay, I won't be surprised if this show gets, but they are trying to promote this show like really, really, really fast. Like, they're trying to promote this show really, really bigly. I think the reason why this is flopping, this show is a failure, is because of the fandom menace not working at review bombing it on IMDb, V and Rotten Tomatoes, of course. People review bombing it, which, again... I don't like using the term view bombing because, again, pe someone doesn't like a movie or they don't like a movie. If they don't like a TV show or they don't like a TV show, it's not really a view bombing, okay? But I do think that negative audience scores are going to have a much more bigger impact than the 95% that the critics gave. I do not think Miss Marvel is a 95%. I don't think it's a 9 out of 10. I don't think it's a 10 out of 10. I don't think if it's an 8 out of 10. I think it's like a 5 or 6 out of 10 show. I don't think it's a masterpiece or anything. Okay, like the critics like to make it out to be. But Moon Knight, you know... Yeah, Moon Knight would be a... People were saying that Moon Knight was a sword that started off good and this became set. Yeah, that's what people said about Miss Moon Knight. But yeah, have you seen Miss Marvel? Do you think it's a P... Do you think it's horrible? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's alright? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, it has no issues with it. It really doesn't really have any issues in it. They're all... Definitely much better TV shows. That all, and also, as I get, there are much more popular TV shows that came out. Much better reviewed shows, okay? Miss Marvel came out around the same time The Boys Season 3 was coming out, okay? And The Boys, again, is based off a comic that nobody knows. And that became really popular, okay? It is possible to take a comic or a series that nobody knows and make it popular. Marvel did it many times. Guardians of the Galaxy, basically, as well. You know, and sometimes they have failed. Morbius is an example of this. Morbius didn't, you know, outside the memes and jokes aside, didn't really make that all too much money. Even though Morbius... I thought Morbius was a decent movie. I thought it was a decent movie. I didn't think it was a 0 out of 10 or a 1 out of 10 like every critic gave it. Okay, but this is basically about this video. Goodbye.